Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Deathloop. In today's episode, we're going to go explore the complex because apparently Dr. Wenge has a way to... Venji? Venji? Dr. Venji? Wenge? Venji? I don't know how you pronounce it, I can't remember. But she might have a way of holding on to stuff from one loop to the next. And if we can find that, fantastic. So let's go to the complex. I feel like we're still being tutorialized somewhat, which is kind of insane, because I've been playing for like, what, five hours? Four hours? Four hours, I think. It's still the first day, by the way. It's such a good game, I'm just playing it all fucking day. It's ridiculous. What do I have to lose? Well, if you die, your weapons, the one. Unless, of course, you succeed, then you get to keep them. I am always succeeding, even when I'm not. How do I keep my weapons again? Uh, the infusion process? Isn't that why you came up here? Not gonna lie. Me told me to. You're not the only one with other me's, you know. You're not special. Yeah, but if I succeed... Yeah, if. Good luck. This infusion keeps sounding better and better. Is for mania E is for egomaniac, I see. <laughs> Go on exploring. He likes the late shift. Interesting. I guess there's someone in here at night time? Professional bullshitter. I should be able to take out the power, but the power is in the building, okay. So he's not stupid, he's locked the... The way to get into his building is powered inside his building. Wenger's lab. Residium... Or Residium research. So I want the, res the research. Because honestly, killing Wenge doesn't actually give me much at the moment, because the other ones, I need to do another loop to kill them anyway, right? It might give me- killing it might give me some information on how to do it quicker next time, but like... Aside from that... It's just practice, right? Which is ridiculous, but... I love the way that it works. Nice. I could head back through here, but I feel like that's bad. I think we want to get... Hmm. Coming past here is going to suck. It's a really fast moving turret. I could just slaughter my way through here, to be honest. Like, it's not the end of the earth if I do that. Could slaughter our way through. What do you got? Sniper rifle. I want the sniper rifle. Because the rifle is really good.
cool. It's annoying to me that these sniper people don't actually have sniper rifles. They've all got the machine gun, which I don't care about. Or at least don't care about currently. I guess. Could have gone worse, certainly. I feel like up here is going to be the way to go, right? I should just track these guys always, probably. <laughs> Drop down, take down. I'll take it. Safety for a moment. Don't need it. I'm feeling just fine. Honestly, speed is the key here. You can kind of like sprint up to them and slide in, because the slide counts you as sneaking. Which is really useful. No time for swim. Hello. 
Interesting. So she's linked together. That's uh greedy cold. Interesting. She's I mean I knew that was her power, but that's a that's an interesting way of doing it. So she's just got a bunch of copies of herself. All doing research at the same time. I guess that makes sense for a uh, researcher, right? Attention all Wengies. Lockdown code 6066. To avoid loss of productivity, activate systems only in case of catastrophic biological containment failure within the central facility. Randomize each loop in accordance with Evan's law of variation and basic security. Interesting. I'm no expert. Oh wait, I am. This code I found at Wengie's facility looks connected to her depressurization controls. Too bad it changes every loop. Interesting. So she's found a way to actually... Oh, hello. Sleek personal trinket. It kind of makes sounds, so it makes it easier to find them. Shit in a lab there. I don't know what code is here. And I feel like it's pointless guessing. Oh, she also had a sleep personal trinket. I guess I should check all these bodies in case they actually drop trinkets, eh? Keep what you claim. An observation from this morning's early announcements. A notable leap in the skill and proficiency of Eternalists Colt and Juliana. Yes! And two truths have become apparent. One, the time loop has been active for some time, and both of them retain their memories from each loop iteration, while others, most notably ourselves, do not. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop interrupting me. Interesting. This is correct. We can reasonably assume that every day, for X amount of time, we have made similar observations. We then focused our efforts on preserving knowledge and memory across iterations. Which means, despite us being able to propagate this timeline, we have clearly repeated these early stages of research multiple times, without a breakthrough. An obvious conclusion, one we have likely made before to no effect. And so, these dubious experiments with residuum infusion to retain items, trinkets, across iterations. If we can retain trinkets, perhaps we can retain ourselves. Interesting. Concept of identity is Observation. Confirm success of anchoring the loop to the visionaries via the anomaly. Unfortunately, anomaly still produces only trace amounts of unstable residuum. Fine for trinkets, acceptable for slabs, completely inadequate for infusion. Confirmed extinct... Existence of visitor objects. Visitor objects. Complication. I predicted superim superimposition would occur only in later recursions. Presence on first day suggests that it's not first day. Confirmed visitor objects consist primarily of residual. 
Extrapolation. A scaled down version of the loop stabilization process should anchor an infused object, trinket, weapon, to an inv individual Im visionary, me, transferring it to into a permanent visitor that persists over subsequent recursions. The harvester is ready, the infuser is ready, I'm ready, and the question is, is residuum remains. Hmm. Each visionary contains significant residuum reservoirs, but the harvesting process is almost certainly lethal. Killing visionary risks loop instability. Obvious solution, visit a vis visionaries. To test during breach experiment. Experiment semi-successful. When multiple visitors of a single individual are manifested, killing any one, any given one collapses its residuum load into the remaining visitors, preventing immediate harvest. Killing every vi version of myself will produce Requisite residuum for infusion, but then I'd be dead. Unacceptable. Can't slot the harvester into an infuser as a corpse, or benefit from infusion. Need someone else. Alexis could be enticed easily enough, but I need 20 Dorsies like I need an orbital lobotomy. Cold's gone rogue, too dangerous to replicate. Charlie? Interesting. Kill all the Wengies, and I can use this thing to collect the residuum I need to get her machine running. That makes sense, yeah. Makes sense. Do I need to do that quickly? It's correct. We could keep this loop going for thousands of years. So have I already broken it by not carrying this thing with me? Or is this thing just collecting it without me trying? You can get it from all the glowy things. I want like an actual one of these that I can equip though, rather than this that I have to carry around, right? The calculation. It's correct, we could keep this loop going for thousands of years. Nope, I'm good. Oh, I see. I understand now. The residuum goes between oh, them. Full ammo. So the last one will have all of it. But we have to kill all of them to be able to get there. Good to know. Thank you. 
This is so cool, by the way. I'm also getting a bunch of personal trinkets here. Which I think all will transfer over. Plague of Wengies. The odds are still against you. Oh, that worked out pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> Go in and slay them all. Interesting. So I've nearly got all the Wengies. I think I need two more. Which are those two over there? Which are 56 meters away? Gifts from the Anomaly. Confirmed. Byproducts of the Anomaly. Slabs. Metallic temporal induction arrays traced with stabilized residuum. Can manipulate Anomaly, manifesting se severe localized distortions in space-time. Trinkets are residuum-infused objects that warp local space-time in minor predictable ways, and residuum, temporary alien metamaterial, highly unstable, and G-matter, external to space-time. Interesting. Theorized byproducts of creating a loop, likely. Visitors, temporal alien individuals, people from other timelines, composed of residuum, possible resource? Interesting, so you can farm them. Which, I guess, is what she's doing, trying to reset herself, right? Space-time fuses across multiple timelines and manifest as ruptures in space. Ravaging. Negative impacts on local space-time from strain on experimental recursion proliferation. proliferation. Potential scale global. Hmm. Interesting. Not interested? Okay, the last two Wengies are in this building down here, good to know. I missed one. Death trap. Missed another one. Personal trinkets everywhere on these Wengies. All eyes, all ears. Alright. Yes, I wouldn't even know where to begin. This is an important experiment. How many times have I told you? Actually, you haven't told me. Fine, not you. Some other one then. We are not telepathic. In which case, guessing through logical deduction creates an unacceptable margin of error. So no, I refuse to guess what you are thinking. <laughs> concept of identity is fraught. And when she experiences... Okay, 
Give me this thing. This should be the last one, I think. Personal trinkets, don't need health. Sterilization no protocols. Breach experiment. One, due to Colt's betrayal, I had to link the security system to the depressurization controls. Sterilization will trigger only if the traitor is detected on the premises. Two, as per Evan's law of variation, the relevant security codes may be in a different location than in your timeline. Mine. On the bottom section of the lab and already found them. Already knew that, which is nice. So I have Residuum, so theoretically, I should be able to, like, clone myself, kind of. Alright, now just get in this tube shower thing and press the button? Shit, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? Some side effects. Death's a small price to pay to hold onto your gear. Interesting. So I guess when you get good shit, what you want to do is go kill Wenji in the afternoon? Oh, that's interesting. I guess you have to do that every time, right? Death's a small price to pay to hold onto your gear. I killed. Wenji and I died. Cool. Alexis invited Wenji to his party. There are multiple Wenjis in the complex. What could go wrong? I can access Wenji's depressurized controls at a co code protected device inside a security lab. For a control freak, she sure does love a single point of failure. A key code access to depressurized lab is in the annex. I'm no expert, but oh wait, I am. This code I found in Wenji's facility looks connected to her depressurized controls. Too bad it changes every loop. Killing Wenji will produce something called Residuum. Next step, a bunch of dead Wenjis. Uh, killed my myself some Wenjis. Just need to slope up their... Residuum? Remains? With her harvester? The harvest... Harvester jig is full of Wenjis. Time to offload the Residuum into the infusion. The machine's humming and the tube's waiting. What are you waiting for, Colt? You only live once. Ironic. Is... Okay. Oh, ow. Oh, what the fuck? It uh, worked. Infusion and residuum. You can now spend residuum to infuse weapons, trinkets, and slabs, allowing you to keep them across loops. Each infused piece of gear will be returned to your arsenal every morning. Harvest residuum from infused objects across Black Reef and from the glitches left behind by dead visionaries. You can also sacrifice weapons, trinkets, and slabs to gather more residuum. You cannot can transfer residuum between loops, so be sure to spend it. When you die and reprise, you drop your current residuum at the place of your death indicated by a marker. However, if you run out of residuum and the day loops, all residuum is lost. <laughs> It actually, it actually worked! Who's the super scientist now? Ah! You and Worth me, it! Baby. Together forever. 
at least until I break this loop. Okay, that's fantastic. I might end the episode there. Um, we'll see. Well, what should I call you? Mr. Gun feels a bit, uh, formal. Gun tur. Gun slav. Maybe the machine. Eh. So here's the interesting. So I can absorb residuum from this. Why does it feel like I'm more here? Shit makes no sense. Nope, I'm good. So, if I now go, like... How would I do it? Is there a way to... Journal, I guess, does everything. Uh, whoa, what is this? Oh. Interesting. So morning can get me Harriet's Nexus Lab. Good to know. So I have 750 residuum. I don't know where I spend that. I'm guessing here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll come up to the, the thing. Fluff ball! The fluff destroyer! More residuum. Coming for you. Indeed I am. Okay. Getting a bunch of residuum. It's tempting to go this way now, you know what I mean? Because there might be more residuum down here. I'm wondering if there's a reason to come back here. That's why I'm coming back here. Because <laughs> now that I have, like, I feel like I have everything unlocked now. You know what I mean? Something bad happens. There's always tomorrow. That's it. That's it. Now you're just gonna go make coffee. I like coffee. Shit. Oh, what about Mikhail? That drunk idiot who tried to pee on me? Come over here. Oh, the movement in this game is so fucking smooth. Look at that shit. That felt insane. Don't need it. Actually, like doing combat in here is kind of great. Dear Colt, while you were all hooing roof owie my head pff, sand this morning. I was making my way to my favourite haunt in the heart of Black Reef. How's your head now? Better? No? Well, it isn't all bad news. This island big isn't big enough for the both of us. Catch me if you dare. Smooches, Juliana. She's not at her house. Good to know. Mini Colt! Nah, Colt Jr.? Now that has a ring to it. <laughs> it's too self-involved. Colt <laughs> second. Yeah! Colt 2! Colt Square! Why the fuck? Am I naming this gun after me? 
Why not? It's a gun. It's a cool gun. Everyone loves a cool gun. Slipped away into the tunnels. Okay, so I think at this point... Infusion complete. It worked. Hurt like a mother, but it worked. Just gonna harvest more residuum and get into infusing my gear. Need 4,000 to infuse it. Is there any point to infusing Spring Healed? Because don't you get it every reset anyway? Dr. Wenge Evans was no match for you, you're off to a strong start. With the power of infusion at your command, you don't need Wenge's tools. Collect residuum by hand and infuse your items when you have enough residuum to do so. Harvesting residuum from shimmering visitor objects across Black Reef and from slain visionaries. When you reprise, you drop your residuum when you died. If you find your remnants, you recover. Yep, that's fine. Move your cursor and press that on his loadout. Infuse. Use your cursor like this to infusion items. Cult finds a few visitor objects on the beach, so you begin each loop with some residuum. Not enough to though to infuse your gun, luckily. You can fix that. Many items contain residuum and you can sacrifice them to harvest it. Use your cursor to select weapon trinkets. Sacrificing shock absorber will give you the residuum you need to infuse limp negative 10. Don't worry, everything cult can find in the beach. Shock absorber included will return at the to your arsenal at the start of every loop. Uh, move your cursor over the thing and hold delete. The object has selected confirm sacrifice. Cool. You've got enough residuum to use the limb 10, so let's select weapons. Why would I want to do this? Fine. Um, let's just do it because it wants me to, hey? Okay? With the power of infusion in your hands, you can begin building an armory of weapons, trinkets, and slabs that withstand the ravages of the repeating loop. Slabs in particular provide potent supernatural abilities such as teleportation and incredible strength. Wenge didn't have a slab, but most of the other visionaries do. Kill visionaries and take their slabs for your own. Wondering what to do next? Check out the clues you've uncovered among other leads. If you want more slabs, consider going in after Charlie Montague, whose shift lets you teleport, or Harriet Morse, whose nexus links enemies together. What happens to one happens to all. If you explore Black Reef, you will find numerous secrets, codes, clues, and other bits of info about the different districts and time periods. These discoveries are collected here. Many discoveries can be tracked with, like leads. Finding and making use of discoveries is key to successfully navigating Black Reef and its time loops. Remember, each district offers different opportunities and threats depending on the time of day and actions in earlier periods can affect later periods. An empty square at morning may become a crowded Concert in the afternoon, assuming no major event disrupts the festivities. The Isle of Brack Reef is now yours to explore. But trade care three, old players can invade your game as Juliana, interfering with your mission to break the loop. With this, you can control whether or not the game player other players are allowed into your game. Good luck out there, and remember on Black Reef, death's just a thing you bounce back from. Okay. So this is really cool. <laughs> so it's morning, which means Carl's Bay, we can get this visionary. And in Fristrad, we can get this visionary. It tells us because we know. This is so fucking cool, by the way. Uh, Colt's loadout. Pick your loadout here from weapons, slabs, and trinkets you've collected. I don't know why it's telling me that tutorial again. It's interesting here... I can't sacrifice it, seemingly. Ah, oh, here. So I could get rid of my double jump and get 2,000. Because you get double jump every time you die. Like, there's certainly ways you could get around doing this, right? Interesting. 
So let's sacrifice this. Yeah. So I've already infused that, I guess, is the idea. This is interesting. I wonder whether- you, I'm still not sure whether you keep everything. I'm gonna sacrifice this, so I'm gonna have one rotation where I don't have double jump. There's no reason to sacrifice this one. Good to know. So we're going to go without double jump, which is probably a bad idea, but we'll see. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. It ended up being 45 minutes. I think I'm actually going to take a break from playing. But this is an insanely cool game. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time. And I can now play as Juliana to protect the loop, which is really cool. Which I might try out next episode. We'll see. Ugh, such a cool game.